Previously on The Next Step. It was my fault, because I told him I liked him. But don't worry, I'm over it now. I text Amy back, tell Sloan that when I see her again, I'm gonna give her a huge hug. Willkommen to Switzerland, Prince Alfred. I don't have a really good sense of how the state is going, but based on the look on Alfie's face, I'm gonna lean towards not good. I fought for her. It will work itself out. Just have some faith. <laughs> I'm happy that we won, but... Where's James? It feels weird celebrating without James. You guys ready to do the final dance? Yes. yes. Regionals is coming up, so we need to kick things into high gear. We need to be ready. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I want to see the final routine. All right, yeah. Can we do it? Got room for one more? Yeah, we do. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing Amy again is like, it's like a dream come true, you know? It's so good to see you. So nice to see you. I've missed Latroy so much, and now that we're friends again, I can't wait to catch up with him. A after he catches up with Amy, of course. I won't hold you guys up. I'll pick up the Corey as we go. All right, then let's see it from the top. Let's go. All right. Let's go. I've been away renovating an old farmhouse with my dad, but now I'm back. I'm ready to dance. If we make it to the finals, we're gonna totally kill with this routine. This is incredible. Fantastic. When, not if, we make it to the final round, that dance will kill it. <laughs> Great work, you guys. Jill. Sorry, Alfie. Things between Alfie and I have been a little awkward since we started dating. It's like we're not connecting anymore. What do you think of the dance earlier? I thought it was great. It's really shaping up. We're gonna rock regionals. <laughs> do you wanna have lunch? Today. Like now? Oh, I would I would I would love to. Um it's just that I don't really have a lot of time. I'm super, super busy. I mean I'm probably just gonna eat a sandwich at my desk. Alfie's a great guy. I don't know why I feel like this, but I do. I just I just need some time to figure it out. Coffee maybe a few minutes. I just, you know, miss hanging out with you. That sounds amazing, but I, I'm supposed to watch Noah and Rochelle's duet before regional, so right. yeah, I, today's just not really a, a good day. No, I understand. I understand, okay. of course. Um, just, you know, let me know when you have time, and we'll hang out then. Mm -hmm. That was sweet. Right. I still really like Alfie, but being with him isn't exactly what I pictured it would be. I just don't know why. Okay. So, how'd it go with your dad? It went, it went pretty good. I think he's really changed and finally come around, so... It was great. I think I really got to know him better. I know it's only been a few weeks since Latreya went away with his dad, but it feels like a million billion years. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. 
the truth is, things didn't turn out so well with my dad. But I don't want to get into that stuff with Amy right now. Tell me more. Um, see, I really think I should be running the choreo. Oh. But... I'll come with you. Yeah, I think it's better if I run it by myself. Okay. Um, well then, take me out for dinner tonight and you can tell me everything. Okay. Alright, okay. sounds good. Bye. I can't talk to Amy about this, but there is one person that I can talk to. I hate dressing up. We're going to Westminster Abbey. You have to dress up. I'm with my brothers in one of the greatest cities in the world, and all I can think about is Riley. I thought a tour of Westminster Abbey would cheer James up, but he doesn't look very cheered up. I don't want to go. Dude, we're going to a church named after me. Westminster. Your last name isn't Minster. Well, if I was British, it would be. Now put on your tie. James, you, you gotta get dressed too. I'm not really feeling it, man. I just want some alone time. Just clear my head. You guys have fun. I can't spend the afternoon hanging out and pretending to have fun. There's no way. I needed an excuse to not hang out with Alfie, so I asked Noah and Rochelle to show me their regionals duet. Someone who wants to see us dance, Riley sure is spending a lot of time on her phone. I want to talk to anyone except Alfie, so I'm sending messages to everyone on my friends list. Ooh, haven't talked to her in a while. Yes. Any notes? Oh, no. That was great. Just do that again. <laughs> uh, well, if you think it's solid, I'm pretty sure we're good to do it by ourselves. Then. Yeah, no, no. Um, I, I just want to see it one more time. You sure? Yeah. Just one more time, and, and I'll Maybe. watch. You don't have anything else you'd like to be doing? Maybe mm. taking a break or something? No. I think I'm good. I'm, I, am, I am focused and determined to stay focused and determined. So one more time. Let's see it. All right. Okay. <laughs> I told Alfie that I couldn't hang out with him because I was very busy, so I need to keep busy. I was hoping that some time alone would help clear my mind, but I can't stop thinking about Riley. James! Ella? What are the odds? Ella? Wait a minute. Ella? So then, yeah, I mean, in a nutshell, I just saw them kiss. I can't believe it, but I'm actually telling Ella everything that happened with Riley. I must be going crazy. Honestly, I'm just, I'm really overwhelmed. I don't really know what to do. I feel really bad for you. It's all good. Although it's like the spit world paradox. What? Your heartbreak is like the spit world. Okay, what what is a spit wise? You never used to, you know, spit wad people at school when you used to like roll up bits of paper and you know spit it at them. Okay, wait, but what does that have to do with this situation? We've got two options. You can either let the spit wad hit you, or you can take a hard right and let it hit the wall instead. Okay, let's just back up. The spit wad is like my pain in this situation. Then. Exactly. Smarter than you look. Okay. So then, yeah. Obviously, I would take a hard right then. Good choice. So do it. Okay, how do I do that? You need to remove yourself from the circus of drama and do something else. Stop thinking about Riley for a second and just clear your mind. Didn't you say you were here for a, a hip-hop competition or something, for example? Yeah. So maybe start focusing on that. When Ella says I need to focus on bangers and mashups and forget about Riley, she's right. <laughs> she's smart. I never thought I'd say that, but she's right. Surprisingly, I think you brought me to a better place. You've always been my favorite. And I can hazard a guess that in the end, you'll have Riley. You just told me to stop thinking about her. 
I know. <laughs> Bye. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for the advice, but I don't think I'll actually ever understand Ella. Amy doesn't really understand the stuff that happens with my dad, but there is, you know, there's one person who would. It's good to see you back. Listen, I gotta talk to you about something. What? Even though LaTroy and I haven't hung out in a long time, I could tell by the look on his face that he has a problem. And I also know what that problem likely is. My dad. How did it go with him? I'm guessing same old, same old? Actually, worse. What happened? So, spending time with him at the farmhouse was the best time I've ever had in my life. Okay. At first. But then, when the rentals were done, he just told me to go back to my mom's and he didn't even give me money for bus fare. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. I, you know, I was just, because we were getting along so well and I thought that, you know, maybe he's finally changed. I've been doing a lot of thinking about my dad lately and what type of father he is. And I just, I just don't understand why he just won't show some interest in me and just be there for me. I don't think you can change people. They are who they are. So what am I supposed to do? Well, you can either accept him for who he is and all his flaws, or cut him out of your life. But either way, I think it's really time for you to have a relationship with your dad on your terms, not his. Sloan's been telling me to change things with my dad for a long time now. And you know what? I think I'm finally grown up enough to hear what she's been telling me all these years. I think you're right. Wait, what? Did you? Did I hear? I'm not sure if I heard well. There she did, goes. Did you say I'm right? All right, get it all out. <laughs> did you know? Wait, what? I, I think I need to hear it again. <sighs> You're right, okay? Oh my gosh, I feel faint. Catch oh me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Overly dramatic, like always. <laughs> I'm kidding. Good to have you back. Hey. Hey. Uh, do you have a minute? Yeah, what's up? Um, is anything weird going on with Riley? She's not any weirder than usual. Hi. Uh, she just seems a little distracted after our date. Which I heard was amazing. She said she had so much fun. Oh. Riley told me that her date with Elfie was, well, terrible. But it's not really my place to say anything if Riley hasn't. It's just ever since it's been tough to find time to get back together, you know? And she just always seems so busy. She has been very busy with regionals coming up. Probably just that. I, I just worry. I just worry that she's making excuses. Oh, no, no. She wouldn't do that. Last I heard, she's crazy about you. That's, that's what I thought. Just lately, things feel different. I, I'm sure it's nothing. I hope you're right. Thanks for the talk. No problem. Riley's love life has been pretty dramatic lately. Maybe I should find out what's really going on. When you spend time alone, you know you get time to think. And I thought about a lot. Come on, rock it with me. Let's do it right, let it out. I know you know. From here we're going up. Oh. When I was away, I missed this place so much. But what I missed most was being friends with Sloan. Now that Sloan and I are back, I don't want anything to tear us apart ever again. You're gonna do the right thing. I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go make the call right now. Good luck. Thanks. My feelings for LaTroy won't just go away, but I can put them aside because I don't want to jeopardize our friendship ever again. Hey. Hey. 
Because you're so busy, I figured I'd bring some sandwiches and we can have a quick lunch in your office. Oh, that's <laughs> so sweet. Um, but I'm, I'm actually not that hungry. Um, plus, I have to rehearse Michelle solo, and then after that, I have some other things to do. What's really going on? D did I do something wrong? No, 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 you're, you're perfect. It's just, you know, the studio is, is crazy. I, I just, I have, to, I have a lot of stuff to do. Well, is there anything I can do? No, honestly, I think, I think the only thing that I need right now is just to be left alone so I can, so I can handle everything. Riley is totally brushing me off. I can't believe this is happening. Ciao for now. Wait, you forgot your food. Yeah, you can share it with Michelle. Hello? Riley? Michelle? I know you're not that busy. I am very busy. I have lots of things to do. You have no idea how, how much it takes to be studio head. It is a lot of pressure and a lot of work and it's nonstop. You think I don't understand, but I actually do. No one has had more relationship drama than me. I can tell when there's trouble in paradise. <sighs> okay, fine. I'm avoiding Alfie. But I don't know why. I just don't want to spend time with him. What changed? I don't know. It's not Alfie. He's a great guy. There's nothing wrong with him. I can think of one big thing that's wrong with him. What? He's not James. I don't know what upsets me more. The fact that Michelle just said that, or that she might be right. I'm just waiting for LaTroy. I'm dying to know how the phone call with his dad went. So, are you okay? What happened? I decided not to make the call. Right now, the relationship with my dad is just like a one-way street. I'm always there when he needs me, but he's never there when I need him. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a break from my dad for a little bit. I'm tired of focusing on the people who don't really love me. And I think it's time for me to start focusing on the people who really do. I think that's great. Sloan, I wanna thank you. Yeah, no worries, it's no, all good. Not, not just for today, for always. That's what friends are for, right? Um, yeah, I, uh, I promised Amy that I would take her out for dinner tonight, so... Yeah, go. Go, it's all good. All right. And, um... Anytime. All right. I promised myself that when LaTroy got back, I wouldn't let my feelings interfere with her friendship. It wasn't easy, but I think I passed the test. Eldon? Put on your tie. I'm not putting that tie on. Eldon, you gotta put on your tie. Hey, hey, put on your tie. That is so not gonna happen. I've been trying to get Eldon dressed for hours. Hours. At this point, I don't even care about the Abbey. It's the principle of the thing. I'll, hey, I'll tackle you if I have to. Put hey, on your don't tie. Don't touch me. You gotta put don't on your tie. Me. You gotta put don't on your tie. Me. Yo, you guys your tie. didn't even make me. it out the door? I am not letting Eldon go to my Abbey without putting on his tie. I don't want to go to this stupid abbey. Hey, you better take that back. My abbey is not stupid. <laughs> there is one thing in my life that never changes. It's these knuckleheads. You guys laughing? And what'd you get up to anyways? I just chilled, man. Sat down on the park bench. Oh, I met up with Ella. Hold on. Ella, Ella. Like, 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 British Ella. Yes, like Ella. The one that can kick a football like a mile. Okay. Don't act like you two didn't send her to talk to me. I didn't, I didn't talk to Ella. I didn't talk to her either. James and Ella don't exactly get along. Honestly, I'm just really confused. You're telling me that it just so happens that Ella sits down next to me on the same park bench in one of the biggest cities in the world. That's ridiculous. No, no, I don't think no. that's ridiculous. I, I think that's fate. Or someone else put her up to it. I don't know why I ran into Ella today, but I'm glad I did. Destiny or whoever, 
I just want to say thanks. Ella. Hi, Riley. Hey. How's James doing? Ella and I have been catching up, and she offered to check in on James. He's struggling at the moment, but I think he'll be fine in the long run. I tried to sort him out. I'm really glad you reached out to me. I feel really bad about what happened to internationals, and I regret losing you as a friend. I appreciate that. You should come to London sometime. Well, things are a little too busy with the run-up to regionals right now, but maybe, maybe when things settle down. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> Oh, and Riley? Yeah. It's obvious that he still loves you. Oh. OK. Thanks. Bye, Riley. I still love him, too.